That's the humble E minor add nine chord. I could play it like that. So I'm coming off the um, E major scale, the fifth, the B, um, then the uh, the ninth, which is the F sharp, or the second, and the flat seventh, the D. But I'm playing it with these three fingers for a reason. Pointer fingers free there because your root, by the way, you play an E minor add nine. Now F sharp is the second or the ninth, therefore add nine. So your pinky is the root of that chord. Now if I moved it up to that position there, that's an A, therefore I'm playing the G minor add nine. Therefore I can go, if I'm a contortionist, I can bar my G. Okay. Make sure you're capable of these things before you hurt yourself. And if I play the E minor add nine, an octave higher, I come out of the B note here on the D string. I play the sixth interval, which is the G. And the F sharp, which makes it the add nine of the E minor. Although the E is there, the add 9 is the root. Now look at the shapes of the hand. From that finger there, to that finger there. It's a whole tone apart. You know, and the string below. From that finger there to that finger there, whole tone apart, but a string below. If you want to remember it that way. Likewise, if you put your finger there, you would have a, um, a C minor add 9. I remember. Because there's a C and there's the, the ninth, the second or the ninth. Anyway, I hope that helps you. One of these um, Holdsworth style chords. Also used by um, Old Viola. You can do them up here as well. I'm struggling because I don't play in the style, thankfully. And that would be an A, a G, because G is there and that's the ninth. Remember the punky dictates the interval. Anyway, I hope that broke down some mystery about these Holdsworthian chords for you.